All right, the top news this morning is coming in with regard to a comment from a member of parliament of Dravada Munetra Karagam on Hindi-speaking people coming to Tamil Nadu. This has triggered a controversy and this is a senior neta, DMK MP, Dayanidhi Maran. He triggered this uh, row after he said Hindi speakers from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar who come to Tamil Nadu end up doing menial jobs like construction work or cleaning roads and toilets. The Bhartiya Janata Party was quick to slam not only, of course, what Dayanidhi Maran had said, but the India bloc leaders for not speaking against the DMK MP. Remember, this is not the first time. Earlier this week as well, DMK leader T.R. Balu had reportedly sought an English translation when Nitish Kumar began speaking at the India bloc meeting. Then DMK MP from Tamil Nadu, DNV Senthil Kumar, sparked a controversy with his statement on the Hindi heartland states. And ever since specifically the elections that were won by Telangana, uh, by the Congress party in Telangana, there was this whole north-south divide. After criticism of Senthil Kumar's speech, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla had to expunge the remarks also made by him earlier. So this is now in series of a sort of reactions coming in specifically from Netas from the southern states against those from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. <laughs> Well, ini yang kita hendak cari dalam ni, kalau IT company ini, kalau ni ni esam bela mangir aja. Ia ni panggil Hindi Hindi ni nangla, orang lalat tu yo. Ni building kat terus yang ni, ni bayar Allah vali benda. UP ni Hindi betul, pergi ke mana? Bihar ni Hindi betul, pergi ke mana? Ini benda Tamil kat terus gitu. Ini kita ni 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 दया नदी मारन जी का नाम लिया नित्यानंद जी ने कई साथियों ने साथियों वो हमको गाली नहीं दे रहा है इंडी गठबंधन के लोग जो गाली देते हैं वो बिहार में जो इंडी गठबंधन के लोग हैं उनको गाली देने का काम कर रहे हैं हमको नहीं दे रहे हम बिहारी तो परिश्रम के लिए जाने जा रहे को लगता है कर्नाटक में चुनाव जीत गए केरल में उनकी सरकार है और तेलंगाना में चुनाव जीत गए तो ये उत्तर दक्षिण का एक भेद पैदा करना चाहते हैं इसलिए उत्तर भारतीयों को गालियां दे रहे हैं और ये जो भी कुछ हो रहा है ये कहीं ना कहीं राहुल गांधी खरगे साहब के इशारे पर हो रहा है ये तो आज तक लोग चुप्पी क्यों साधे हुए और डीएमके को इंडी गठबंधन से बाहर का रास्ता दिखाना चाहिए नहीं तो चुनाव आने वाले हैं चुनाव के अंदर इसकी बाहरी कीमत इनको बिहार में यूपी में चुकानी पड़ेगी दया निधि मारन यह गाली नहीं दे रहे हैं या इंडी गठबंधन के नेता गाली सुनवा रहे हैं बिहार के भी इंडी गठबंधन के लोगों को हम कहना चाहते हैं कि दया निधि मारन के खिलाफ आप आवाज लगाओ भारतीय जनता पार्टी तो कह ही रही है और मैं कहना चाहता हूँ की स्वच्छता करने वाले लोग सड़क बहारने वाले लोग सेवा के काम करते हैं और सेवा करने वाले लोग हमारे हमेशा पूजे जाते हैं अपमानित नहीं किए जाते हैं विद बेली सिक्स मंथ्स टू गो प्रिसाइसली फॉर 2024 इलेक्शंस वन वंडर्स व्हाई वुड स्पेसिफिकली डीएम के नेताज वन आफ्टर अनदर आर मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स दैट आर बिकमिंग एन एम्बेरसमेंट फॉर द इंडिया अलायंस एंड स्पेसिफिकली टू द कांग्रेस पार्टी Joining me in this uh, telecast, my colleague Piyush Mishra to tell us more about it. Piyush, do you think, uh, you know, the comments that DMK Netas are saying may be catering to their vote bank in Tamil Nadu, but it does have repercussions to the India Alliance. Do you think BJP is clearly escalating this uh, to attack the India Alliance? How, ha how have been the political showdown over this case? Well, Pooja, there's a massive showdown, a massive tussle which is now going on between BJP and other constituents of uh, India Alliance after this uh, video has surfaced of uh, DMK MP Dhyana Dimaran where he's uh, uh, seen using the words against the people from uh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. He has said that people from UP and Bihar who speak Hindi come to Tamil Nadu and clean uh, toilets and uh, construct houses. Uh, following which uh, the BJP leaders from specifically from Bihar are now seeking answers from uh, other India Alliance constituents. In fact, they are saying that these statements are being made 
doing at the behest of uh, Malikarjun Khadge and Rahul Gandhi and uh, uh, the leaders of DMK are doing so because they want to create a divide across the country, they want to create a north and south uh, uh, divide. Uh, but like you rightly pointed out that yes, it uh, indeed uh, suits um, DMK uh, because we have seen as to how DMK leaders have been taking part in many anti Hindi agitations uh, uh, in uh, Tamil Nadu. They have uh, uh, been against uh, the imposition of Hindi there in the state and uh, uh, that is why such statements are also coming in. This is not the first time that a DMK leader has become uh, a talking point or uh, an embarrassing uh, uh, party for other constituents of India Alliance. Earlier also we have seen how anti Sanatan statements were made just before the uh, recently concluded uh, assembly elections and uh, BJP had raised these issues. A uh, couple of days back did during the going uh, during the winter session, uh, BMK MP had also used the words like Gomutra uh, for uh, the. What uh, basically uh, PU started the with uh, uh, Sanatan Dharm is uh, dengue malaria must be eradicated, and now to this that uh, Hindi speaking people only do menial jobs, and menial jobs shouldn't uh, any kind of job shouldn't really be looked down upon specifically when it contributes to workforce and economy. Nevertheless, that's the DMK MP statement coming in and has led to a huge political showdown coming in and also an escalating north-south divide coming in from these netas from the southern states.